my last video, I told you guys that I met a princess and she actually invited us out to dinner. I had actually got there and when I saw her, I was like, this is such a nice house. And she was like, this is not a, a house, darling. This is an estate. Hi, my name is Alex and I live in Merida, Mexico with my family. And um, I just do videos about my experience here and kind of what we've been doing. So my last video, I told you guys that I met a princess and she actually invited us out to dinner. And um, what's funny is my husband was like, no, I think we're gonna pass. And then I was like, we should go. We should really just go. So we ended up going and it was a little bit further away than it's probably like the furthest out that I've been. Um, but it was so fun. Like we got there and I mean, the grounds were just beautiful. Um, and uh, just walking up to it, like the scale of the place, it was probably like the biggest house that I've ever seen. I had actually got there and when I saw her, I was like, this is such a nice house. And she was like, this is not a, a house, darling. This is an estate. And um, <laughs> I was like, okay, well, you know what? You're right. It is an estate. So as soon as you walk up, it's this beautiful place and they have a humongous pool. It's probably like the biggest pool I've ever seen. And all of the adults and the kids are in the pool, just like playing and hanging out. And um, as soon as we walk up to the pool, a woman says, hi, my name is and this is my home and welcome. Like, she was really nice. She was like, you guys could come get in the pool. Thank you for coming. So the kids, they hung out in the pool and um, while they were hanging out in the pool, we decided to hide a whole bunch of Easter eggs. So we hid Easter eggs all over the grounds. And um, yeah, it was, it was really fun. The kids, just to like watch them do the Easter egg hunting. We've done the Easter egg hunt a couple times. Like we do it a, more than once just because my husband and I, we love watching our kids just like finding the eggs and how happy they get from opening them. And even if just something small is inside, just like to see their face, it, it's, it feels good to see. And then we had dinner and um, dinner was really relaxed. It wasn't like the owner of the house or the state came out and she was like, yeah, so if, if you want to eat, the food's ready. But if you're having fun, just continue to have fun. So like there was like no pressure to get up right away. Um, but when we did go to eat, there was like, it was like a table for like 30 people. Um, if I could find like what it could look like, I, I'll send that, I'll send that. Um, or, you know, put it somewhere, somewhere here, like what the, what the table could look like, the dinner table. And it was just buffet style with just like a whole bunch of nice healthy food, some like, a, like one fried option. Um, it was really, really good. And um, I found myself at a table with a princess, like a pageant winner, a clothing designer, um, restaurant owner, lawyers. Like, it was just crazy. I was just like, wow, like, I'm so glad we came to this. Like, just a situation that I've been put in. And just to give you some context, like this time last year, I was working at a desk for Department of Defense and I was pretty sad in my job and I kind of felt stuck and I was also feeling really sick. So like just full circle where I'm at now, 
like the differences is just like look at God, right? I just like felt privileged to be there, like with like art dealers and designers and a princess. Like it's just different for me. Um, and I went to like this conference last year that really, really motivated me. And I remember something, something somebody said, and it really stuck with me afterwards. And it was like, don't pass over opportunities repeatedly because that's how you stay poor. Not necessarily poor in a monetary way, but missing opportunities for like your children to see how other people live. Like people are living like that every day. Like that's crazy to me. Just knowing that there's so much more out there in the world to see. And um, in the beginning, I struggled with a lot of self-doubt. And I think other people struggle with this as well, not just myself. And um, sometimes you don't want to just keep waiting. Sometimes you have to just get things done. Hi, so just to add some clarity, my dad used to tell me, or he still tells me, um, you know, with every generation, you need to get better. And um, sometimes to get better, you need to get out of your comfort zone. And, you know, this video was really just about passing up on opportunities. The next time that someone presents something to you and you think it could make you better, or if it's something you kind of fear doing, maybe you should just say yes. Like instead of having the fear cripple you, just say yes. And um, for my husband, you know, he didn't want to go at first, but like once he came home, he's like, oh, I'm so glad we went to that. You know, it's not something I would have done, but like it's kind of opened my eyes to just what's here and things that I didn't, some things that I didn't know just based off some of the conversations I had. And um, I think it's worth noting that in life, everyone gets opportunities. And sometimes if you don't take them, it can really change like, the path that you're on so next time just say yes